In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly use hair rinses in your hair wash routine. Whether you're facing excessive hair shedding or trying to regrow your hair, hair rinses can do wonders to your hair. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And let's begin with the best hair rinse you can possibly do for faster hair growth. And for this, rosemary water is the best thing you can use on your hair when you're facing problems in growing it and for hair loss. So here's how you make rosemary water. In a container, we're going to mix three tablespoons of dried rosemary leaves with two cups of warm water if you have fresh rosemary then you need to simmer on the stove to get the properties okay now we're gonna let it sit for about 40 minutes to allow the rosemary properties to bond with the water and once your rosemary water looks kind of like dark brown go ahead and strain this rinse now when it comes to application, to make this very effective, the way we're gonna use this is on the last step of your hair wash routine. Meaning that after shampoo and conditioner, you're gonna pour the rosemary rinse all over your scalp in this way. And once you're done here, proceed to dry your hair as usual. Do not rinse this off. Rosemary is literally a stimulating herb, meaning that it's proven for increasing circulation in the hair follicles, which is going to ultimately help you with hair regrowth and making hair thicker. You can do this rinse two times a week or even more if you want to, to encourage massive hair growth. The next hair rinse is meant for anyone who is going through excessive hair shedding. And if you are, what you really want to use is a green tea rinse to tackle this problem right away. So to make a proper green tea hair rinse, all you're gonna do is to brew two green tea bags in two cups of water for 20 minutes. Green tea is a top home remedy for combating hair loss due to its ability of blocking DHT, which is a hormone that causes hair loss. Green tea also is packed with tons of antioxidants and vitamins that are going to nourish and bring hair back to its healthy stage. Now, in terms of application, you can use this rinse in two different ways, as an overnight spray or as a hair rinse. But no matter what way you pick, always massage and apply this on your hair kind of looking warm to stimulate circulation. In this case, I'm gonna show you the hair rinse way so after you shampoo your hair on clean scalp we're gonna proceed to distribute this rinse all over your roots once your roots are soaked in green tea make sure to massage a little bit and then without rinsing it off you can apply your conditioner or any hair mask only on the ends of your hair now you're gonna wait for 20 minutes with this on and when time is up wash everything off with cold water at the end just keep in mind that green tea could be a little bit dry with frequent use so that is why I like to do it in this way to prevent dryness but also I want to suggest you that if you want to apply this more than once a week then only spray it on your roots as an overnight treatment to avoid affecting the quality of your hair. The next hair rinse is perfect for those who are looking for a natural way to restore dry hair or for a more gentle way to remove persistent dandruff. So for that, what you really need to try is a honey hair rinse. And no, this does not make your hair lighter or sticky, it just makes it perfect. So let me show you how to prepare this honey rinse. In a container, you're going to dilute one quarter cup of raw honey with two cups of warm water. You can use Manuka honey if you want to, but to be honest, Honest, any honey works for this then you're gonna make sure to mix this very well until there is no residue of honey in the cup so it basically looks like this clear golden water that you see it right now now the way we're gonna apply this is on clean hair so after shampoo you're gonna slowly pour this rinse to saturate roots and the ends of your hair and after this we're gonna proceed to gently massage the scalp for three minutes just to make sure that it goes in your scalp to remove bacteria and after this, you're gonna wash it off with cold water and follow up with conditioner. If you don't know, honey works wonders because it is packed with antioxidants, it has antibacterial and antifungal properties, and on top of that, is considered to be a natural humectant that is going to leave your hair looking more healthy and extremely shiny. This honey hair rinse could be used as a natural conditioner if you want to explore that option, but you can also apply this as an addition of your regular conditioner every week to accomplish super soft, silky hair. Next hair rinse is wonderful for those who are looking for an effective way to tame frizz or for even getting rid of greasy hair. So for this, what you want to do is an 
and apple cider vinegar hair rinse. First, let me show you how to properly make this hair rinse. So start with any container. We're going to simply dilute four tablespoons of raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with two cups of water. By the way, make sure to shake the vinegar bottle a little bit to get the mother completely mixed up. And also don't forget to stir this mixture very well with a spoon before application. Now, when it comes to proper application, the way you're gonna apply this hair rinse, it's as the last step of your hair wash routine. So after shampoo and conditioner, then you're gonna pour this rinse all over your hair in this way and that's it. The reason apple cider vinegar is perfect for a hair is due to its acidity because it helps to rebalance the natural pH level of a hair. So when that happens, it encourages the hair cuticles to lie flat so there is less frizz and more smoothness. Also, apple cider rinses can remove hard water, product buildup, and excess oils from our hairs so it ends up looking more healthy, clean, and shine. I personally don't rinse this off because it seems to work better. And to be honest, the smell doesn't bother me because once my hair dries it just goes away but if you can't stand the smell which i get it then let it sit for five minutes and then rinse away with cold water if you struggle with length retention or if your hair is constantly brittle, fine, and in general, it's fragile, it might be a sign that your hair needs protein to straighten and rice water rinses are the perfect solution for this. So there are many ways you can make a rice water treatment, but I'm just gonna show you the quick overnight fermented one. So in a jar, we're gonna mix half a cup of uncooked clean white rice with three cups of water. Once this is done, make sure to shake the bottle a little bit to get the milky water out of the rice. This is similar to washing the rice but in a lazy way. So now all we're gonna do is to let it sit at room temperature for 24 hours. And the next day before application, go ahead and filter the water from the rice like this. Rice water is very rich in minerals, vitamins, and protein, which are all essential hair growth components that will protect, repair, strengthen from root to end. Next, we're gonna do this rice water rinse in the shower. So shampoo first to remove any oils out of your hair and then we're gonna follow up with the rinse. So I like to soak my ends for one minute into the water to get the properties right there and after this I just usually pour the rinse all over my hair in this exact way. After this, you're going to allow the rice water to sit on your hair for at least 10 minutes and when time is up, go ahead and rinse this off with water. Always make sure to follow up with conditioner or any type of moisturizing hair mask because this type of protein treatment can be stripping to the hair. Also, it is important not to overuse rice water treatments even if it does wonders to your hair. You should only be using it no more than two times a month. If you want to mix one or two rinses, definitely do it. One of my favorite mixes are rosemary with rice water. Sometimes I also mix rice water with clove water. Ah, oh, because sometimes, you know, you need that extra help from the natural stuff, you know? So if you guys want to see more hair rinses, please let me know in the comments down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Buena vida!